Hi, we have Matthew Cheslock from Virtue Financial here today. Matt, I don't know any other way to put it, but the markets are a hot mess right now. We had a divided Fed after the FOMC minutes, divided Washington. Now rumors that Trump's advisory board members are, are exiting like Gary Cohn. What is going on? Um, this is the market that's finally taking a look at Washington and seeing dysfunction. Um, and the market still has yet to crack. We had four straight up days. We're seeing a small down today, as you talked about it, being a hot mess. So, um, you know, being down less than 1% really isn't a factor. So the market's still hanging in there despite some sales out of, you know, Walmart that we saw, some ECB comments, our Fed comments, and it's remarkably resilient. Um, you're kind of waiting for that crack to happen. You would think it would have happened with North Korea, with what's going on in Washington, and it's not happening. So, um, you know, let's take this as a positive that we're only down 100 points. Okay, well, sticking with the fundamentals, I mean, earnings have been quite peachy. However, investors don't seem so excited about it, although we are reporting double digits earning growth. Now, analysts have suggested quarter three is going to be half as good as the first and second. So what the heck is going to be the reaction then? Well, the, what's good about that is that if the estimates get walked down enough and they beat those walk down estimates, that'll be a positive for the market. So, you know, if analysts aren't expecting good numbers in the third quarter, then there's potential to, 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 to really beat them and the, the market to have another catalyst. Um, but, you know, I think a lot of us were thinking that third quarter and fourth quarter will be the best quarters because of we would already have had infrastructure ideas and tax reform ideas, repatriation of money ideas, small business, you know, things of that nature. We're not going to get those now in the second half of this year. So maybe because analysts walk the numbers down enough, maybe that'll be the catalyst. All right. So if Washington misses the mark, if fundamentals miss the mark, what's going to drive the sentiment? Uh, it might be football season. Um, let's be honest. Uh, if all of those things happen, you know, the market is going to need something to take us to the next level. Uh, this last few days or the last few weeks, it's been earnings. It's been fundamentals. And that's been a promising sign for the market. We're not going to have those for an extended period of time here until the next earnings release. So um, we are going to focus on Washington. You've seen over the last two days the over uh, media coverage of um, of what's going on in Washington and the tragedy that happened in Charlottesville. So, um, you know, the market's going to need something to get us over the next hurdle, uh, but it may not happen until September. All right, maybe football, Stephen, or maybe maybe uh, Apple's new content. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, Apple's an interesting company that's held up pretty well. If they come out with a new idea, they've done very well with their new ideas for the most part. Um, and But, you know, that might be just something very subsector specific. So, you know, there's questions about what Amazon was doing. Uh, you know, Walmart, how much can they bite into it? How much can Target bite into, you know, what Amazon is doing? So there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, tentacles out there in the market that you really got to manipulate. And speaking of sectors, uh, tech sector, biotech, are we still looking at those? Um, yeah, you know, I think so. You know, what what's interesting is oil. We kind of always get back to oil, but oil is right in the middle of the range that everyone had forecast. You know, it's been down for several straight days. You know, OPEC has not been able to take it higher. These huge draws that we're seeing in inventory aren't taking you know, oil higher. The U.S. has been able to fill all those gaps and it's right in the middle of the range. So that could be something that leads this market in the next couple of weeks. Um, if we break, if oil breaks down below 45 or busts up above 50, that could take the market in a certain direction. All right. Well, thank you for your direction, Matt. Always nice to see you on Thursday. Have a good weekend. Absolutely. You too. Enjoy those cartons. <laughs> oh, you know I will. <laughs>